Dr. Kwame, let's bring the documents here up front. Uh, there will be three documents to be signed, one by the incoming CS, one by the outgoing CS, and one for our records. Uh, so please bring them, have them signed, and then after that we'll ask the two CSs to come forward, together with the peers, so that we take a photo of here. Okay, thank you very much. We'll ask the CSEs to take a copy each and please come forward for uh, a photo. Just here and mind the steps so that we don't, uh, we don't cause an accident. <laughs> just, just in front here. And that's basically our role there. And I'm very happy for the uh, good job that you've been able to do uh, all this time, even as I join you. And therefore, I will not be able to stress the importance of teamwork in all that we do. Let me also emphasize that I will be keen on ensuring that we maintain an open door policy. That as a ministry, we 
practice transparency and openness and that we open ourselves to scrutiny by the public and by parliament through and through. We, in this regard, we shall have to, again, start to take the matter of communication more seriously. More seriously. That the public should be able to understand what, what it is that we are doing at every other time. We proactively communicate what we are doing or what we intend to do to the public. In other words, we create an environment where we engage freely with the public, who are our customers. As you see, yes, I will be engaging in regular roundtable discussions with consumers or customers or representatives of consumer groups so that we are able to interact and be able to understand and to be able to get feedback uh, from the public on a regular basis. So the bottom line here really is communication. Communication through and through. But finally, just like we have been advised in the executive CSU uh, uh, about the idea of one government approach, I would be happy to have that approach cascaded to the ministry so that we may have what we can call a one ministry approach so that uh, whatever it is that is being done in the petroleum state department, whoever is in the energy sector knows or is able to articulate that whoever is in uh, uh, EPRA understands what goes on in Kenya pipeline company. Whoever is in Kenya Power understand what goes on in Kenya and so on and so forth. So that together we move forward and push the agenda of nation building. As a ministry, really, we are simply an enabler. We are an enabler to the development agenda of the country. Therefore, the contribution we make in economic development cannot be uh, overemphasized. And going forward, we shall simply reiterate uh, that we work knowing fully well that our contribution to the economic uh, development agenda of the country is important. So there will be really no reinvention of the wheel. We just want to pick from where uh, my good friend C.S. Chichi has left, but move forward uh, knowing fully well that we have got a very, very impatient public public that is yearning for quality, reliable services from us. And that's really our mission as a ministry. So without really belaboring uh, what has been said already, I just want to thank you and wish you all the best as we work together going forward. I will be available from time to time uh, to consult with, uh, with you in your yeah. spaces. This morning we were at Isenia. I'm told that is the second largest uh, service station in the country. The largest is uh, Susua. Susua. Uh, wonderful uh, work going on down there. And I must thank our staff who are in the outstations for the commitment and dedication to duty that they have demonstrated. God willing, on Saturday I was talking to Joe would want to visit the Kenya Pipeline facility in Kisumu to be able to understand what goes on there. And I will be going doing the rounds to be able to see for myself uh, what's happening in, the, in, the, in all the outstations and in all the departments. So for today, the task I have was to take off, which I've done. <laughs> which I've done. The second task going forward will be to do some learning, but very quick learning. Okay? A very, very steep learning curve, so to speak. Uh, because, as I've said, time is not on our side. We have got no luxury of time. The whole country is expected. They want to see us deliver. 
So now we Yes, they want to see us deliver. And deliver we shall. Thank you very much and may God bless.